What's going on everybody? Hope you guys are all doing good. Before we get going on this video, uh, if you need some quick money, you definitely want to check out Instacart right now. It is blowing up. I've heard that most orders get posted and are there sometimes for 24 hours because there's not enough delivery drivers to take the orders. So if you need some quick money and Uber and Lyft hasn't been doing it for you, you really need to hop on Instacart. Get the link in the description and check that out as soon as you can. What's going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Rideshare Hub. My name's Greg. Uh, we are in the middle of a question series. Basically, I took the 20 biggest questions from um, that I've seen from you guys writing in, commenting in regards to the stimulus bill and everything like that. And I'm just making a, a list of videos, plowing through these questions, and hopefully you guys will be having everything you need after that as far as information goes next question how do uber and lyft drivers file for unemployment i probably would have covered that out of habit anyways but um basically the simplest way to describe that it's going to be different in every state but you essentially just google your state google something like so for me i googled arizona unemployment benefits or unemployment insurance i can't remember which one but something along those lines is going to get you the right web page more than likely might have to hunt around. It took me like 30, 40 minutes, I think, of like really looking through the website to understand what I was doing. Not the most tech savvy, ironically. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's the main way. Keep in mind, a lot of states haven't unrolled it yet. So you might not see it in your state. If that's the case, check the website every single day until you can apply. There's going to be massive backlog for this. 10 million people submitting for unemployment in the last two weeks probably more than that by now actually um so yeah that's pretty much all for that question uh it's very simple you just got to do some googling and then the application took me like 20 minutes i think uh it wasn't too bad at all very generic information social security number stuff like that okay how do you claim your stimulus check as an Uber and Lyft driver the same way you would if you did any other profession? So the stimulus check is the $1,200 check if you're making $75,000 a year or less. Um, that, all, literally all you have to do is have filed your taxes. Um, it's very simple to do. There's really no excuse to not do it as an Uber and Lyft driver because Uber all offers an awesome TurboTax package. You get the small small business package for free. It's like $120 value, I think. Um, but that's how I did my taxes. It makes it really, really easy. You just have to have Uber Gold benefits, which is like nearly anyone who does any level of consistent driving. And like in the last like months, um, I still have Gold benefits and I haven't given a ride since like New Year's. So <laughs> you're gonna, you should be able to maintain Gold benefits. And I think Uber is keeping everyone at their um, reward level throughout this whole thing. So, uh, as of like a month ago, if you were at platinum, you're going to keep platinum until you can drive again. Um, so gold is very easy to keep and maintain. So I'd be shocked if many of you don't have it, but that's the easiest way to file your taxes as an Uber and Lyft driver. There's no reason to not do it. There's even an option at the end where you can just say that you're going to pay it by July and then you're going to get your stimulus check and you won't have to worry about paying your taxes until July, but you've submitted. That's the important thing. So moving right along, uh, what benefits do Uber and Lyft drivers get from the stimulus bill? Basically, I mean, we get $1,200 like everyone else. We can pretty much indefinitely get approved for the um, insurance, the benefits insurance, which is going to get you 600 a week and a stipend. That's a crazy amount of money. I'd be floored if any of you don't do that. And I honestly wouldn't know why you wouldn't do that. Um, unless you're totally set, but everyone else who drives should like literally be doing that. Let's see. Um, other than that, I'm sure there's other things, but that's the main thing that everyone's focused on. We do technically qualify for the small business loan. I just don't know why you would take that out. Uh, Cause you don't have employees. How do you know if you qualify for unemployment or don't qualify? So to qualify for unemployment as a freelancer, you basically just have to be able to say that you can't do business because of the craziness 
Um, so you'd basically, if you felt like you were at risk or you were putting your family at risk by the work you do, then guess what? You qualify. So let's take a wild guess. Is that every freaking driver on the planet? You bet it is. <laughs> as long as you've driven in the last like three months, um, you're going to qualify for this. Probably even longer than that. Because any doctor would say that if you've Ubered or lifted in the last four or five months, there's really good chance that you got in contact with someone who may have had it. Like that's just the honest truth, you know? So that answer is essentially any Uber and Lyft driver. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm scared because I'm a full-time gig worker and unemployment isn't enough to provide for myself or my family. I also don't want to go out and work because I don't want to get sick. What should I do? Okay. So thing is about what we're going through right now is like there's no good answer to a question like that um, because like it's not like you can really go somewhere for help or call someone for help if, if you're talking you haven't done every single one of these things. You should have by now if you're worried about your finances you should have a filed. You should have filed for unemployment insurance to get you 600 plus a week. You should have filed your taxes to be getting 1200 plus, uh, a $1,200 plus check, depending on if you have kids, you get $500 per kid. So in this case, this person clearly has a family. You should already be getting that money. I can't say when obviously, but you should. Um, you can also very easily get sick pay from Uber and Lyft. And to do that, you just have to get like a two sentence doctor's note from your primary healthcare provider, or if you don't have health insurance, you can go to a lot of virtual doctors are, will give you one for free right now. Just do some Googling. And then they'll get you money based on, um, from Uber and Lyft, based on what your average earnings and hours were over the last six months before the craziness. So, there should be three ways you're getting money. One of those will be on a consistent weekly basis. The other two of those will just be a pretty decent amount of money to help you with whatever it can. That being said, obviously we might not see a lot of that come out for another few weeks, maybe even way longer. So a lot of you are saying, well, what can I do in the meantime? And listen, I get that. I totally understand that struggle. Um, Main thing to remember right now is there's not a lot of true risk for you as an individual besides getting food on the table. Get food and water for you and your family. Make that priority number one. Then what you need to do is you need to look at all your bills. And obviously there's going to be things like Netflix and stuff that if you don't need to be paying for, don't. You know, save every cent right now, especially if you have a family. I get that that's even more frustrating because so you're like, well, what am I going to do? There's lots of things to do to entertain yourself, but you got to cut every expense you can. So cut your Netflix, your Hulu, any unnecessary money you need. Then look at everything else. Look at your utilities, your rent. What do you know about those things? None of those will shut you off. Your utilities aren't going to get shut off right now. But the big thing with this is you can't just assume it's not going to happen. You got to call your electric company, your cable, your Wi-Fi, everyone else and say, hey, I'm unemployed right now. I've got no money coming in. I really can't take on, I, you know, you got to sell it a little bit. They're going to take care of you pretty much no matter what, but I always push it. You know, I let them know like exactly what I'm going through. Listen, I can't pay my rent for two weeks. I can't afford the late bills. You know, what, what am I going to do? Say things like that and they're going to work with you. You know, you, you it's like illegal to get evicted right now. Um, I know Wi-Fi, like my Wi-Fi sent me a company. They sent me an email saying they wouldn't be shutting off Wi-Fi right now. And uh, cause they understand a lot of people are going to be willing to help you out. Um, there's no logical way to get through this. This isn't just a tough time for anyone as an individual. This is a tough time globally. So I'm saying take risks where you got to take risks. If you're not going to be able to pay your rent for two weeks or your mortgage tough, then you're just not. And you're going to probably have to just keep backlogging certain bills until that money comes in. Um, in the meantime, I would say get scrappy, you know, and 
humble yourself. If you got to ask a family member to borrow money because you don't want to take out, you know, a, a credit card with interest or something, do that. Um, but a lot of credit card companies, I've been seeing some crazy credit card offers that I've like never seen. Some of them are like two years, no interest because they, they got to keep people signing up, you know? So there's a lot of ways to like finesse the system right now though. And so mainly, I just don't want to see anyone like get so worried that, you know, you don't look for options just because you're not going to get your paycheck from work or your paycheck from Uber. This is a time where you got to be scrappy. I mean, you got to be willing to look around, absorb a ton of information, research like crazy, find out ways to save money on everything, find out what bills you really don't need to pay right now. Um, it's not going to hurt you that much in the long run if you're pushing back some bills with no interest or late payments or credit checks because of it, you know? So if you got to do that to keep your family fed, that's what you got to do. Um, but in the meantime, I would just be scouring the internet for information and figuring out every penny you can save or make in unconventional methods. So let's cut the video off there though. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Please like, and subscribe so you can stay up to date on what we're doing. I'm trying to get you guys super relevant information as soon as I can uh, so that you can apply for these things as fast as you can. So make sure you look into everything in this video. I really hope it was informative and best of luck out there, guys. Stay safe.